The urgent search for survivors in the Baltimore Bridge collapse this evening. Right now, search and rescue teams, they are there. They say as many as six victims, but possibly even more than double that number are still missing at this hour. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Colin Mayfield. And I'm Vanessa Rufus. Just after pulling away from the port, a fully loaded container ship slammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge, tearing the structure apart and bringing it into the river. NBC's Jay Gray is at the bridge with the latest. An intense rescue and recovery effort continues in the bitter cold waters of the Patapsco River right now. Teams searching for survivors after the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge overnight. The bridge is gone. Holy Here's what we know at this point. The crew on board this massive container ship apparently lost control of the vessel minutes after leaving the port of Baltimore, issuing a mayday call warning they'd lost power and propulsion. Security video shows lights blinking and smoke climbing from the ship just before crashing into a center support column on the bridge. The iconic structure crumbling. As units were responding, they began to receive numerous calls indicating multiple people in the water. A crew doing routine maintenance filling potholes and several vehicles were on the bridge as it collapsed. Two of the workers quickly pulled to safety, but authorities acknowledge several people are still missing. Our prayers are with everyone involved in this terrible accident and all the families, especially those waiting for the news of their loved one right now. I know every minute in that circumstance feels like a lifetime. President Biden promising the full support and resources of the federal government in the wake of the tragedy. Jay Gray, NBC News, Baltimore. And Jay will join us live in 30 minutes to catch us up to speed on any new details. Meantime, be sure to download the WCNC Charlotte mobile app for any breaking updates in this story and others sent directly to your phone. And keep your channel tuned here right after the news at 6. Lester Holt anchors NBC Nightly News from Baltimore with the latest details on the search and recovery.